satisfying. What's up, everybody? I'm really excited because I got a gift in the mail today from my father who asked me if I needed some knives. We were on the phone catching up and I was cutting some sweet potatoes with really shitty knives. And he was like, well, do you need new knives? And I'm like, yeah, I could use new knives. And he's like, okay, let me get you these knives. Apparently they're the second best on uh, Consumer Reports. Uh, the reviews on Amazon are good. So I got them in today and I decided why not just do a little unboxing. So Without further ado, I'm going to unbox these knives. I'll probably do a review. I'm going to use them just on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'll give you my thoughts in a few days. All right, check this out. Forged Japanese cutlery. Toffee block. It's got a block. It's got, I think, eight pieces. Let me bring you all closer. So this is a honing rod, and that is to sharpen it, chef's knife, santoku knife, utility knife, separ serrated utility knife, paring knife, and kitchen shears. What else should look like? They have a bottle opener and a, I think that's a nutcracker. It's also got a block. Let's see what it's like inside. Uh, it's a little bit tough. I'm going to use some tools. Thankfully, I have more than enough tools with the Leatherman. Try, try that out. It's a nice box. Professional looking. A little bit too much cardboard, but what can you expect? Okay, there's probably some knives in there. This is probably the block. Yes, I am correct. Oh, especially not too much cardboard. That's pretty minimal. This is a lot lighter than in the photos. There's silica gel stuck in there. Try it out, I guess. Cuts all the way through, just a solid block of wood that's a few, of them, a few pieces glued together. Hmm, that's not a good seam right there. Kind of looks a little tacky with that gap. Uh, let me show you, there's a little gap right there. It's a nice piece of wood. That's not the best quality, so... A little bit of judgment on that part. Um, but aside from that, not the worst deal. Eh. In the reviews, it said that the scissors feel a little bit cheap. And, um... Kind of agree. It's the plastic. The plastic handle doesn't really feel quality. Alright. Pretty, pretty reasonable packaging on this. I think is the is this the chef's knife or the santoku? This is the santoku knife. Ooh, that feels very, very, very sharp. That is Japanese steel. Wow. Yeah, that you don't want to cut yourself on that. That is, Ooh. that is super, super sharp. Uh, I believe it goes in this one. Let me look at the. Look at the uh, photo. No, and actually it wasn't this one. And it goes that way. Wow. That is sharp. This is the pairing knife. It's a little less sharp. Oh no, that's not true. It's just less sharp down here and sharper over there, which just might be its design. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, it's a little discolored. That's what I saw in some of the reviews. They weren't happy with the discoloration of the um, steel. They're much better than the knives I have, though. But, um... Ooh, this is... Uh, this is... Interesting handle. See, they're not like bolted. It's like, it's like metal with a coating. It's like just a thick rubber coating around it. That's kind of interesting. This is the five inch utility knife, I believe. Let me put this there. 
There we go. Here's the honing rod. Let me move this out of the way. Honing rod. Yeah, see like there's there's um slight serrations in the metal going up and down and you just go like that with a knife and it slightly sharpens it. That goes right there. Where the silica gel was. See if I, there we go. The camera's doing some auto-focusing. There's the serrated utility knife right there. It's very sharp. It's very sharp. So I would say that these seem like a medium medium quality knives. They're not, they're not super high quality, but for the price, they're probably very, very good. So my first impressions are that these are um, good for the price. I should maybe I'll move these around. They're good for the price, but not the best money can buy. They're approximately, I got them as a gift, but they're, I looked on the line, they're approximately 70 bucks for eight knives that are very sharp and better than any like Faberware or any of that. They're going to be quite quality for the price. I would say value is what you're going for here. I look forward to giving you my, my, uh, my review after using them for a little bit. I decided to do a little bit extra for y'all. I'm going to cut this potato. Uh, I guess the utility knife's a good one. Or I could use, I'll use the Sentoku knife. I don't know what I'm supposed to use. I think this is the Sentoku, yeah. Pretty sure. Ooh. That was super easy to cut. Super easy. Whoa. That is so much better than my knives. That is very, very, very easy to cut. It just cuts through like butter. Holy Jesus. Woo. That is nice. I don't want to get my fingers in the way. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh man, it is so nice to have good knives. And I can't really just chop it. I have to go like that. But it is, oh man, that is satisfying. I'm gonna cook these, this potato into a, and they're just like cooked potato slices. And it's very satiating. Something I've been starting to do. But man, this is this is nice. This is really nice. <laughs>